sorry. Yeah, I know what you said. Can I get you anything? Doesn't mean it didn't happen, though. Tea? Toast? Doesn't mean I don't look like this. You know I've been under a lot of stress. Oh, yeah, of course. Silly me. Well, you know what I'm like? I do now. You should have known to give me a wide berth. Oh, so this is my fault now? No. No, of course not. I don't know how many times I have to say it. I'm sorry, I am. Now, we'll have to do a big shop later. We can't keep nipping in there every time we run out. Well, are we going to get a chance to do that? After we go to the bank. Bank? Yeah, and I told you. Booked us another appointment at the bank later. What? About a mortgage? No, about eyelash extensions, Tommy. Well, I don't know, do I? I can't read your mind. Tommy, you met them last week. We need to follow it up. You need to strike while the iron's hot. We need to invest our money wisely. It makes sense. You know it makes sense. Somebody sending you hate mail? What is it, love? It's a letter from school. There's a parents' evening next week. Oh. Be a bit sad if I went to that, seeing as I ain't got a kid anymore. You've not heard from Kylie, I take it? <sighs> she could be anywhere. Which means Max could be anywhere, if you know what she's like. Oh, David. I just don't know what else I can do, Mum. I mean, every time I ring her, it goes to answer phone. She's not updated her Facebook in weeks. I've asked around all of her mates, and I've driven around that many dodgy areas, people are going to think I'm curb crawling. So it's like she's just disappeared off the face of the earth. Oh, I can't believe what that girl's put you through. Just miss him, Mum. Of course, I remember when you made me breakfast at home and then walked me to the bus stop. Toast bus stop now. Is this yours? I think you have a text. Thanks. I mean, I remember when you was half a decent mother, I think. All right, Deb, he needs me to work tonight. Well, you can. Well, we need the money. Well, who's going to look after me? To quote John Inman, I'm free. Oh, no, I couldn't marry. You only had her the other night. Please don't leave me with her again. Though I'm very old school, standards, that's what today's youth is lacking, and I'm the one to set them. Please stop working at Dev's mum, please. Faye, you're going to be late for school. Yeah, and whose fault's that? He ain't my life. Hello. You and him were heading for a reunion. Yeah. Mind my own business. Just so sad. Oh, Sam. Well, I can't stop thinking about poor Julie. She's having a rock today. Does all this mean she won't be able to have kids? Oh, well, it might not come to that. Depends what they find, don't it, when they... Oh. I feel a bit sad now. Oh, why? Well, it's Maria's birthday today, and me and Marcus said we'd throw a party for her in the Rovers, but it doesn't seem right, does it, Julie being in hospital? Oh. Julie's like Sean. She loves a good party. She'd hate to think we were all sat round being miserable on her behalf. Yeah, what sort of message does that send the universe? Right. Well, in that case, I hereby formally invite you all to a party for Maria in the Rovers. no excuse. But my head was all over the place. I, I was upset about losing my job and I wasn't, I wasn't thinking straight. I don't know what came up for me. I saw red. Um, a mist descended and I know that's no excuse. Do you know what the worst thing is? I've hurt you. <clears throat> I know that. I, I, can, I can see that. If I'd have done this to you, I'd be a wife beater. Just because you're a woman, it doesn't make it right. I know. I know that. Get out. Hi. I don't want to look at you. Get out.
Andre. Ah, oh, how are you doing? I'm back on my feet and I'm fighting fit. Thanks, Anna. Oh, come on, let's grab this table, Lewis. I'm not sure you're up to lifting. Oh, sure. <laughs> so how long have you been out of hospital now? A week? It's flown past. She should really still be resting, but you know, Audrey, there's no telling her. Actually, Lewis, do you know, the doctors were pretty gung-ho about me keeping active, so... Gung-ho, they said light exercise. Whatever that means. I mean, I'm hardly going to sign up for Zumba classes, but you never know. Oh, oh well, at least you got a nice boyfriend to look after you, eh? And that's a bonus. <laughs> So what can I get you? Uh, two greasy fry-ups, please, Anna. <laughs> Just joking. Oh. Well, this is it, then. Time to face the music. We'll be grand. Hiya. Hey, Marcus. Hi. Oh, please. Oh. Just going in for your op. Yeah. Sorry, Eileen told me. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, it's fine. Folk have been very kind. We could share a cab if you want. I'm just going in for my shift. No, no, I'm fine on the bus, thanks, Marcus. Have you been nailed by mouth? That's right, yeah. Sorry, stupid question. <sighs> She's going to be all right, isn't she, Marcus? She's going to be OK. Of course. I'm sure. Bosses. When you need one, you can't get one. And when you don't need one, you can't move for them. <laughs> Here's your tea, Tommy, love. Okay. There we go. It's all right if we sit down, love. Only, uh, there's not going to be any strip joint now, so, you know. You're welcome back. Uh, hey, we might as well have something to eat, lads. I mean, you've got no work on, have we, so... Nope. No work till further notice. Yeah, tell me about it. He just did. All right. All right, I'll, I'm going to speak to my dad later. All right, well, I'll tell you what. When you do see Daddy Dears, make sure you don't come back on these cobbles without A, the man himself, or B, the dosh. You got that? Hey, don't be so hard on him. All I can't help who his dad is. I'm sure you won't let us down, mate. Of course I won't. Well, jog on, then. We'll be waiting. Not too sparse, not too dense, but a beautiful riot of colour. What are you going on about? These baskets. Oh, but you're giving me hay fever. I might a concussion every time I leave the house. Well, I should report him to the council if they're illegally positioned. There's one either <laughs> side of the door. Nothing illegal about that. Well, I keep forgetting. Getting... <laughs> Dear, how's your mother, love? Oh, she's a lot better, thanks, Rita. Back to her usual self. <laughs> You're going to have to get rid of them, Norris. Oh, but, Emily, I'm, I'm that close to winning the Weatherfield in Bloom competition. Oh. I'm in it to win it. Oh, please. My pansies beat your pathetic petunias into a cocked hat. Oh, well, you've changed your tune. Yesterday, you thought they were lovely. Yes, well, this lady is for turning. So I should bin him, Emily, because he's no winner, take it from Mrs. me. Mrs McIntyre, at least I'm not a chief. <laughs> Or I'd be happy to bin them for you, Emily, if you can't reach. Uh, I've got oh, antihistamine tablets in the back. Would you like one? Oh, please. You should get off, Marcus. Go and deliver some babies. Oh, uh, it's all right. I don't start for 20 minutes. You don't have to sit here with us. Well, I just want to make sure you get in all right. Look, that's really kind of you, but it's a bit embarrassing. People like you, Julie. They just want to see you right. I don't want a big scene. It's just routine, is this? It's no biggie. I'm doing the right thing. I am. My health is of, of paramount importance. I just have to remind myself of that every now and again. What's going on with you and Sal? You're going to tell me what's going on with your faith? You're giving it large in some booze, eh? The little macho man. Yeah, right. You won't believe me even if I told you. So pathetic, I wish you had had a fight in town. Why? What have you been up to? I was getting a box out of the loft and it fell on me. Silly boy. I'm mental, aren't I? Yeah, but cursed is impressed. So what about you and Sal? There is no me and Sal. I was so close and now nothing. Yeah, but I thought you... She can't cope with Jack. There's no one to blame but myself. I was stupid and lazy. Lazy and thinking me and her had hope. That whatever went wrong between us, eventually we could overcome it. But there's some things you can't. And I was wrong. 
and thinking me and her could be together forever. You've got to work at a relationship, and the only work I put in was around this place. It's all there, right? Ten grand. Yeah. Don't ever do that to me again. Next time, I might not be so nice. I knew you wouldn't let me down. And I swear I will never let you down again. You get me? I haven't left you short of her. I sold the camper van last week for 200 quid, so, um, yeah, I'm a millionaire. <laughs> Must be really hard. I mean, at the end of the day, he wanted Jack to be with us, and I tried, I did. I tried my best, but. Oh, Sal. Must have been really tough. I'm starting to think oh, I'm not a very nice person. Because <laughs> every time I looked at that little lad, I saw her. And it was like she was back here again, trying to get in the way of our marriage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is everybody looking? No. Don't you think mm -hmm. things might get better in time? No. It's too painful and life's too short. I know that more than most. I can't expect Kevin to go giving up that little lad, can I? I mean, it's not, it's not fair on him. Oh, is it such a mess? Oh, life is. So, with nothing better to do, I've decided I'm going to take care of number one for a bit. And what are you lot talking about? Uh, Julie. Yeah, Julie, we were talking about... Julie and that, yeah. yeah? That's it? Yeah, we were just wondering whether she'd had her operation yet. Oh, lamb. Yeah. I just keep looking at the empty seat. The abandoned machine. Ooh, it's a constant reminder, isn't it? And the black. How you have to count your blessings and that. Yeah, I bet you do. Mmm. I'm scared, Brian. Don't be. I wish there was a button I could press. Make everything all right. But well, there isn't. You're going to be fine. Marcus said your surgeon's got a top-notch reputation. Nothing but the best for our Julie. Who wants kids, anyway? I'm not the maternal sort. Kids, Schmitz? <laughs> no, we could adopt. Foster of a respite. Exactly. I got the pamphlets just in case. They're ever so glossy, they look lovely. It'll be over soon, love. And I'm not going anywhere. I want to be the first person you see when you wake up. I'm annoying to that. That would be lovely. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. No one in between. How can we be wrong? Everything OK here? We hear the surgeon's top notch. Oh, indeed he is. Now, I just have the final forms here for you to sign. Uh, just to confirm. By signing this form, the operation you're giving a consent to is a bilateral oophorectomy. The removal of both ovaries, which may or may not be needed, uh, depending on our findings. I don't know yet, Mrs. Clinton. I'm just helping Maria out today. 
It's her birthday, you know. <laughs> yep, 21 again, Mrs. Clinton. No, don't look it, do I? She's tough as a post, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you, Roger? Are you all right? Oh, it's so lovely to see you up and about. How are you feeling? Much better, thank you, Maria. You shouldn't be overdoing things. Oh, don't fuss, Louise. Anyway, happy birthday. Oh, These oh, are for you. Oh, thanks, Audrey. They're absolutely gorgeous. David? I've, um, I've had the sign replaced. Yes. Well, do you mind if you go now, David? Your services are no longer required here. But I'm mid-court. Yes, thank you anyway. Audrey. No, <laughs> you're like an old woman, Lewis. Fuss, fuss, fuss. Oh, thanks, David. Don't mention it. Yeah, when well, you can finish, Mrs Clinton, can't you, Maria? Come on, I'll put these in water for you. All right. Chalk for tea. Maria popped by before. It's her birthday. Wanted to know if we'd go for a drink tonight in the Rovers. That'd be nice. Has anyone um, mentioned your lip? Don't worry, I lied. It's all self inflicted, this. Oh, we could just have a quiet night in if you like. I mean, I'm easy. I'm going to get a bath. The rain pounded down on the pudsy beach as Petronella wiped the fluff from her cardigan. She had done the right thing, leaving Vincent. But what was her mother going to say? <laughs> as she trudged towards the fish and chip shop, she felt that oh-too-familiar sinking feeling, like a boat on the ocean, in trouble. <laughs> her mother is going to be furious. Can I go and play outside now? I'm reading out loud. It's educational. I know, but if I don't get exercise, then I'll be, like, massive. And then everyone will take the mick. Well, just play out in the garden. I, I might see how Mother responds and, and feedback. Hiya. Not 100% sure that's the correct use of an apostrophe. How's a patient? How's she doing? She's just gone down to theatre. Oh, OK. She's an amazing lady, very blessed. Why don't we go in here for a bit? Come on. I'm sorry. That'd be daft. It's just I've been holding it all in and... I was married before, just the once. Never felt right. I always felt just resigned to it, if that makes sense. I used to wake up and think, oh, well, this must be what it's like to be in your 40s. Your modus operandi is just to feel a bit miserable. Well, it's not like that anymore. Every day, every day, a little sunshine. And that's because of her. She has goodness. She cares. She puts others first. It's so rare. Listen, I was thinking... You should go tonight. Need your independence. What, go to the pub without you? Well, we both need a bit more freedom. Do our own thing. So that's the answer, is it? The less time we spend together, the less chance of you walloping me. If I could turn back the clock... My mum used to hit me when I was a lad. The best thing about leaving home, not having to duck the minute something went wrong. But I'm not some snotty kid now. I'm your partner. I thought we were equals. We're not, though, are we? You're a much better person. Kinder, calmer, better. Made me realise. Never thought I'd say this. Police were right to dump me. I lost it. I lost it and I lashed out at the person I love most in the world. Oh, have you done this before at work? No, never. It'd be easy to blame the hormones, but it's not that. It's, uh, it's the pressure. I can't handle it, obviously. I didn't help laying all that Terry stuff on you. 
Elsie will call in tonight, yeah? Me and Maria go way back. Well, then. Come with me. Wish her happy birthday. See what I mean? So much better person, isn't it? You. Sorry, Bev. All right, see? Nah, it's Tina. Bevy, darling. Uh, no, will you get your hands off me, please? I'm not trying out. Uh, come on, look lively. We've got a meeting with the bank. We're practically related. I'm going to go home and get changed. I'm sorry, this is important. Well, come on. Look, it's just... What? There's no point. There's every point. But we're going to invest this money wisely. Come on, it's just a change of shirt and some shoes. You can still wear your jeans. Tina. What? The money. What about it? Spit it out, lad. It's like pulling teeth. There is none. <laughs> you want about? Gave it all to me, Dad. You did what? And we'll be back in Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>